The housing industry, it turns out, is climbing out of a huge hole. Home values are up, borrowing rates are down, and now may be the time for you to buy, sell, or even make improvements. In today's Take Charge Consumer Protection segment, some great tips to help you maximize your home dollars. Joining me now on this, Kendra Todd, who's a real estate expert, CEO of the Kendra Todd Group. Thanks for joining us, Kendra. No, well, thanks for having me, Jamie. Here's what I wanted to do in this Take Charge Consumer segment. I want to help people get the best price on a house, and I also want to help them pull as much money out of their house as they can at a time when housing prices and the housing market is moving up. Let's start with sellers. How do you get the most for your sales dollar when someone comes to buy? Well, right now, since it, it, is, it, it is really a sizzling seller's market, inventory is low, um, there are multiple offers on uh, a lot of properties across the country. And my advice for sellers is, even though it's tempting to uh, try and price your home for sale, maybe a little bit above that house down the road that just sold above asking, don't do it. We have found that when we price our seller's homes more aggressively, price them a little bit lower, it creates a buyer frenzy. We end up getting twice the offers and we get, uh, end up with a sales price that's even higher than the initial purchase price that the seller wanted us to list it at in the first place. One of your suggestions is also to help investors in your home find what they're looking for. How do you figure that out, what generic changes can you make to your home to raise it up in the market? Well, gone are the days where big home improvements are going to help you sell your property for substantially more. Right now, we recommend just taking care of the little things. If there's minor electric or plumbing issues, spend a couple hundred bucks, get those items taken care of so that your home passes that inspection with flying colors. The other thing that we recommend is staging your home. Declutter it, move furniture around, put up bright, beautiful pictures. Homes that are staged typically mm. sell for nearly 7% more and 80% faster. I bet lighting's important too. Now, if you're looking Absolutely. to buy a home, mm -hmm. how do you outbid the bidders? Well, it's, a, it's tough right now. That's a great question because cash is king and queen, but, ha, but you still can beat a cash offer if you have to get financing. The way to do that is to uh, put your strongest offer forward and come with what's called uh, a loan approval instead of a pre-qualification letter from your lender. What that means is you've already been vetted by the lender. You've given them all of your bank account and tax info, and that way you're showing the seller that you can close quickly. That's also, good. if you're flexible on things like your close date um, and, and you don't ask for seller concessions, uh, the sellers will really like your offer. They want a clean offer that can close quickly. Those are the magic ingredients. You know, we're so close to tax time. I want to ask you a quick question. If you mm -hmm. decide you're going to stay in your home, are there overlooked tax credits that can also save you money? Yeah, there is a $500 um, energy tax credit that a lot of people don't realize they can take advantage of if you have put an energy efficient um, HVAC into your property, air conditioning unit, that type of thing. Uh, so talk to your accountant about um, maybe some of the minor home improvements that you have made or can make and how you can save some money on taxes. Kendra, fantastic information at a time when the interest rates are still low too. Thank you so much. Great to meet you. You too. My pleasure.